yeah, look, I, you know, I had cancer a couple of years ago and I decided very consciously after that to have a year of wow. saying yes, no matter what, mm -hmm. just say yes. And it was a really good lesson because, you know, quite often an opportunity comes your way and you overthink it and then you scare yourself away from it. But mm. everything that came away, I said, yes. And it just took us to new places that I wouldn't have ordinarily done. Holy crap. So that's huge. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing really well. I'm very lucky. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Isn't it interesting? Oh my God, I just got goosebumps. Um, isn't it interesting like uh, the decisions we can make with the circumstances we get dealt sometimes? And, you know, you've, you've mentioned a few challenges in your life and I'm just blown away and so impressed by your ability to, to say yes, to jump on opportunities, to take the next step. I think sometimes we get dealt these blows or, or perceived blows and we go, we go insular, you know, we kind of go, oh, you know, I just need to protect and maybe I shouldn't or maybe I can't. But you've just freaking run with it. You've gone, absolutely. I'm sorry. I can actually be the best at this on the planet. This is so cool. I love it. <laughs> Why do you think that it's is? Cool. What do you think? What's What's different about you? Well, I think, you know, I'm a, a product of a farmer's daughter. You know, you you live on the land and, you know, there's always challenges and some of them are pretty tough, you know. I remember times when mum and dad had trouble putting food on the table but or could hardly afford to get us on an excursion, but they made it work. They made it happen. We had to earn whatever we got. And when something tough came along, you dodge and weave and you keep going. You never, ever stop. You just keep moving forward. And I think that that has led me to the place where I've got a lot of resilience. You know, I am not going to let life's ups and downs beat me. That is so cool. That is just, I feel like if we could just underline something in this episode and impart that wisdom, that would be it because, you know, I feel like we all have this potential and, you know, some of us have a road that's a little bit rockier than others, but you can, like you're a picture of, you can do anything that you want. You can be dealt any card and actually choose to move forward. I'm blown away. You know, I think um, going back to when my children were small and in and out of hospital, they were quite sick. And what that did for me is put me in a position where you're looking around Mm. And you're never the worst off. Yeah. And I think that's important to have opportunities where you do that because it's very easy to get in a hole and wallow there. But when you're in a hole with a heap of other people who who are deeper in the in the hole than you are, you realize how lucky you are. Even in the worst of situations, there's somebody worse off. And I think that's important that everyone does that. Is that that adage of, you know, how do you feel deep happiness if you haven't felt sadness? Mm. It's that same thing. You know, you've got to really make sure when the good times come, you cash in on them as much as you can enjoy them. Yeah, absolutely. And also to, I love, so before we hit record, you mentioned that your team were away. So you had a bit of a free day and you actually said, no, I'm going to take the day and I'm going to look after myself. And I feel like that's, you know, a little bit aligned with the, when the good times roll, cash in on them, but also like not forgetting to create a few good times and moments for ourselves to look after ourselves. Yeah, we see, we've just moved. We just made a massive move. We had a 15 acre, four bedroom, three living room, massive, massive, massive house. Mm. And I've been feeling quite overwhelmed. You know, there's just too much happening. You know, I've launched the Spiker business, Scott Wood Lane, the husband's doing this. Our sons have all moved out. We've got things going on. And so we decided to sell and we couldn't find anywhere to live. Like there wow. is no housing. It is horrific. We couldn't find a rental and we couldn't find a home to buy. And we had money, we had cash, we could buy it. Wow. So we moved to a houseboat. We bought a houseboat. So we're living on a Stop houseboat. It. Are you on a houseboat right now? Are you on a houseboat right now? Right now, right that's, now? that's our staircase to the roof. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. So yesterday morning I got up. It was a beautiful day. The sun was out. The pelicans were on the water. And I went, I don't want to go. <laughs> so I didn't. Oh, my God. I love it so much. This is talk about bloody making lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> this is so good. It is awesome. I love it. 
isn't it funny though like I I was listening to a podcast this morning about um you know what everyone thinks success and wealth looks like and a lot of people associate it with the five bedroom house and the acres of land and the this and then the designer handbag and the this and the that but I feel like it's bloody freedom what you mentioned waking up to the perfect day and going no I'm going to enjoy this. Like that to me is like success. Absolutely it is. Yep. Do you know what success? I remember, I think if you look at success and you remember when you were a child and you might've been lucky enough to be in the street and the ice cream, ice cream truck came. <laughs> yes. And you were the kids who got to line up and get ice cream to you. That was success. Didn't matter if your parents were rich, poor, didn't matter. But that ice cream was like the best thing because it was in the moment. It was right then and there. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have had one more thing better than that ice cream when you were 10 years old. And that is what you have to make of every day. You know, you have to find your ice cream moment every single day. What's that one thing that you had that you just go, oh, the best. That's how you try to live. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. So you have just coined a new thing that I'm doing for the rest of my life finding ice cream moments in every day. 